This is today's THB This Morning. Well, before we get to our news this morning, let's go ahead and check in with Melissa Dunbar Gates. Good morning, Melissa. You are in downtown Little Rock at Arkansas Flag and Banner, right? That's right. Good morning to you guys. We are here in what used to be known as the 9th Street Corridor. And that's right. This is the Arkansas Flag and Banner building behind us. What a lot of people don't know is there is a fabulous, famous, old historic ballroom on the top of that building on the third floor. It was built in the late 1800s. Half of it was. The other half built in the, in the early 1900s. And what a lot of people don't know is people like Etta James, B.B. King, Louis Armstrong played in that ballroom. It has so much rich history and it has completely fallen into disrepair. There is a new nonprofit group that's been formed and they are on the mission to renovate the ballroom, open it up to weddings, open it up to community events. Uh, it's just going to be fabulous. Uh, 2010 is their year of fundraising, 2011 is their year of renovations, and then 2012 is their goal year to open this brand new ballroom. So we're really excited to bring this story to you this morning. We took a tour and they have a lot of work to do, but it's really going to be fabulous and it's really exciting. So coming up in just a few minutes, uh, we're going to have the story of what is called the Dreamland Ballroom. Coming up, Melissa Dunbar-Gates joins us live. She's talking about the effort to renovate an historical Arkansas ballroom in downtown Little, Bo Little Rock. We're back right after this. Welcome back. There's a new effort in town to revive an old ballroom in downtown Little Rock, one that has seen the likes of Etta James and Louis Armstrong. We're talking about something called the Dreamland Ballroom. THB's Melissa Dunbar-Gates is live there this morning with the details just off of 9th Street in downtown Little Rock. Melissa, good morning. Hey, Melissa, I saw in the, I saw in the paper um, over the weekend them going through this historic building, and it really is phenomenal what, what they're intending to do. Yeah, it's amazing just to all the plaster that all the original plaster that's still in place and how they're going to replicate the exact. She doesn't want to change a thing. It's going to be exactly as it was. I want to point out to you that we're talking about the Dreamland Ballroom, and it is on the third floor of the Arkansas Flag and Banner Building, which is this third story building right here behind me on 9th Street. A new nonprofit group has been formed to revive this ballroom, but they have a long way to go. Can't you just see it? A packed house, the dance floor full, and the trumpets of Louis Armstrong blaring. This room has been all kinds of things. Originally built in the late 1800s, it served as an African-American USO club in both world wars. According to building owner Carrie McCoy, a black fraternity used it to house women and children in the Great Depression. I have had offers to turn it into a restaurant, to turn it into apartments, to make a school out of it. but. I've turned, refused them all because I think it really needs to stay exactly like it is and be an event center for the community, for everybody to use. That old ballroom is inside the Arkansas Flag and Banner store here on 9th Street. According to McCoy, this whole 9th Street corridor used to be known as Little Rock's Little Harlem. She said this street was just lined with African American owned businesses on one side and homes on the other side. And it is inside that old ballroom where the African American entertainers came to play. A lot of the entertainers would perform over at the Robinson Auditorium for the white people, then come over here to stay in the hotel that was right next, Honeycutt Hotel that was right next door, and come up here to the Dreamland Ballroom and jam all night long. The old pictures make wonderful keepsakes of a time long gone. This is that 9th Street corridor looking east. This is how McCoy wants the exterior to look when she's done. See the balconies on the left? I don't want to do one single thing to it except for get it safe and secure and get an elevator up here. I want it to look exactly like it does. McCoy's nonprofit group needs more than a million dollars for the renovation. For a price, you can have your name put on one of the box seats above the stage or have your name put on the stage or the balcony in the back and be a part of bringing the music and dancing back to the Dreamland Ballroom. All right, back here live now in downtown Little Rock here on 9th Street with the uh, Dreamland Ballroom there behind us on the third floor. 
you can be a part of helping this renovation a reality. By logging onto their website, which we've linked to ours, head to todaysthv.com, you can buy a brick that will actually be a part of the new sidewalk that will lead to the ballroom, and your name will be engraved on your brick. So it'll be a permanent uh, fixture there in history in front of this new ballroom. Back to you guys. Melissa, I've been inside that building, and it really is beautiful. Now, now Carrie owns Arkansas Flag and Banner that will remain there in, in the bottom two floors, right? That's right. She'll keep that on the first floor where the retail space is, and the second floor are her offices, okay. which will remain, and then, and then the ballroom on the third floor. That's right. Oh, interesting. That's All right, cool. Melissa Dunbar Gates live this morning in downtown Little Rock. Thanks. Sure. You know, at the Mosaic Templars, uh, just down the street there at the corner of 9th and Broadway, there's a great photo essay of what was once known as Little Harlem in downtown Little Rock. When they reopened it following the fire and the reconstruction there, that's one of the uh, features they have there about the old history of yeah, that street. It was neat that Melissa showed some of those old pictures yeah. in, in her package there. So it'll be fun to watch that um, be reinvigorated there in downtown Little Rock.